Welcome to today's episode, episode 36 where we'll be casting a curious eye over a multi-screen game and watch called Rain Shower. But before we plow headlong into this wet rainy and stormy game, let's take a few seconds to answer our last episode's photo quiz challenge that we here on our channel like to call, what in the world? Well we can clearly see the Nintendo name, and the word Japan, but this is a really obscure item. It was the telescopic side off of the 1971 Nintendo light gun called the Custom Lever Action Rifle, a link in the comments will show you the whole episode. This is a quality item, and Nintendo's first ever light gun. But back to today's focus and the star of our show, the game and watch, multi-screen game called Rain Shower. First offered for sale on August 10th back in 1983, the game is reported to have sold around 250,000 copies. Rain Shower is the second book-style multi-screen game, following our last episode's look at Mario Brothers. The object of today's game is to keep the laundry dry that's pegged out on the line, and away from the raindrops. There is a sprite of a boy who moves the four washing lines that are positioned on two levels split by a building left or right to avoid the drops of falling rain. There are two game choices, these are game mode A and B. The only noticeable difference is when game mode B is played an irritating pro will interfere with the washing line, and pull or push the laundry towards the raindrops. The highest possible score for this game is set at 999. When the score reaches 300 all misses or lost lives are restored. If there are no misses to restore, a bonus round called chance time begins, this is where the scores are worth double until you sadly get another miss. To help balance the gameplay, once every 100 points is scored the clouds disappear, and the rain stops falling temporarily. This gives you a much needed little rest, but please be ready those clouds are coming back very soon. Scoring is relatively simple, one point is scored when the raindrop passes the washing line without striking the laundry. 10 extra points are given at every 100 point interval. Misses are also quite straightforward, a miss is scored when a raindrop hits the laundry. With 3 misses, shown by 3 wet shirts in the upper right corner of the right screen, the game is over. As an aside, if you hold in game mode A or game mode B buttons the highest previous score will be displayed. If the unit is left alone after the game is over, the time display will reappear in about 5 minutes. A game, or I should say, the gameplay is not interrupted even if time button or other game keys are depressed during gameplay. Pressing ACL switch or removing batteries erases the previously retained high score from the memory permanently. The stands you see in my presentations are acrylic laser cut custom stands from an American company called Rose Colored Gaming, they're an awesome company to do business with. While the book-style multi-screens are not a separate series from all the other multi-screens, they're often separated by collectors due to their oddity, after the initial three games, Nintendo discontinued this style completely. Given the production code of LP57 today's star of our show, the game called Rain Shower became the 36th game and watched to be issued by Nintendo. The accompanying instruction booklet was quite comprehensive, it started with a schematic overview of both screens in which it named all the various parts. After explaining how to set both clock and alarm functions, there was a very short how to play overview. Following on from this the booklet explained how the directional control worked, which was still very much in its infancy, before going into a more detailed explanation of the actual gameplay, point scoring and bonus rounds. Interestingly the instructions continued to use the cartoon panel style of illustration, used to explaining each progression of the gameplay, once again underscoring the unfamiliarity people still had in 1983 with computer games. Please also consider how expensive these games were, although rudimentary to the modern eye, they were cutting-edge technology back then, which is why the caution statements say these are precise electronic systems and components, needing care and specifications data to best care for your investment. The most common variants were drawn from the international distributors, these being CGL in the UK, pocket-sized in North America, and Futuretronics in Australia for a few examples. These and many other different versions have their own dedicated collector groups around the world. So these and all the other variants are much sought after in today's collector fraternities. New old stock items are, as I'm sure you'd imagine, incredibly rare, however this picture is a good representation of how a new game would have looked upon purchase back in 1983. Also highly collectible in today's world are the wholesale shipping cartons that a retailer would have received containing 10 brand new consoles. These are actually called a shipper. Product sponsored games, such as this Coral one shown here are insanely expensive, due purely to their rarity, which has sadly seen many replica or fake ones being produced and flooding the market of late. 
Rain Shower received at least one re-release with the Game & Watch Gallery 4 cartridge for the Game Boy Advance in 2002 where we saw a modern version featuring Mario and his brother Luigi. This brings us to today's picture quiz question that we here at RCS like to call what in the world? I'm hoping you would hazard a guess in the comments below, and be as detailed as possible in your response to ensure those that know, really know. All that's left for me to say is thank you. I really appreciate you stopping by and watching our channel. A small favor would equally be appreciated. Please like us, follow us, hit that subscribe button and activate the alarm to ensure you get preference on all our new content and updates. See you all soon.